Okay, I'm gonna explain quickly here what I've got going. I've got an Arduino uh, board with an Ethernet shield on it, and uh, what it's connected to is a speaker, and the speaker is going to make a sound when I push a button on my iPhone, which is connected to an IP address that will let me send a signal whether I want to dispense a treat to Molly or not. And what that will happen is there will be a tone played from the um, speaker and it will be picked up by my Lego Mindstorm EV3 robot. And what this will do is there's the sound sensor right there and it will pick up a sequence and frequency of tones, recognize it, and then say that it's detected a message. And then what it will do is it will send a Bluetooth signal to a tank over here that I've got. And this tank is sitting on the side of the table. And uh, what this tank will do is it will push forward until it reaches the edge of the table and it will push this peanut off of the table onto the floor. And as you can see, the dog is waiting for the dispensing of the treat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the program on the tank. Um, and it's going to sit and wait for a message from the, um, the robot. And that robot, like I said, will receive a signal from the web and a certain tone frequency and a pattern that will that will, it will recognize. So let me just make sure that I've got um, everything turned off because I'm going to restart. So let me just start up the uh, tank program. Starting tank. So now the tank is in a waiting mode and uh, I'm going to start up the robot and the first thing the robot will do is it will uh, do the Bluetooth connection between itself and the tank and, the, and it will, then it will sit in a waiting mode for the um, signal from the speaker from through the Arduino through the web. Okay, so here we go. Connecting the two robots. Connected. Wait for that message. Okay, now that it's waiting for web message, I'm just going to show you on my phone again. I'm going to quickly go to my little action here and I'm going to click on the dispense button and you'll hear a signal and then that will be detected by the robot and transmitted through a Bluetooth signal to the tank. And what the tank has done, it's gone into the position for a second uh, peanut to be disposed of. And uh, actually what I'll do is I will get another peanut out of the uh, jar and I'll show you one more example of how this works. So I put the peanut on the edge of the table. The, um, the EV3 tank here actually has a sound, or sorry, it has the infrared sensor on the, I can show you. On the bottom it's got an infrared sensor and this is how it determines what, when it's hit the edge of the table. And because the plow obviously is a little bit further ahead, it will push the uh, the tank as far as it can go. And once it hits the edge, that means that the plow has already touched uh, the peanut and pushed it off the edge. So let me just line that back up. Uh, the puppy's waiting. And I'm going to, again, go onto my iPhone and punch in my IP address. Sorry, I'm going to punch in the dispense button. Here comes the dog. 